Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on reactions of halo arrange. So here in this question, we have a set of reactions given in column A and we have type of reactions given in column B. So what we have been asked is to essentially match column A with the column B that is match the reactions given here with the type of the reactions given in column B. Let us look at the first reaction which is chlorobenzene reacting with chlorine in the presence of uh, Fe to give ortho and para substituted product. So as you can see if you look at the reagent here you have Fe and Cl2 such that the reactive intermediate involved in this particular reaction is nothing but Cl plus. So as you can see Cl plus is nothing but an electrophile and in the final product we can see that Cl plus has substituted the hydrogen atom from ortho and para position to give us the corresponding products given here. So this is nothing but a typical example of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. As we can see that Fe reacts with Cl2 to give FeCl3 which further reacts with another molecule of fluorine to give FeCl4- and Cl+. This electrophile can attract the electron rich centers at ortho and para position where the electron density is concentrated due to delocalization of lone pair of electrons of fluorine with the pi electrons of the benzene ring. So this is essentially how electrophilic aromatic substitution has taken place in this particular reaction. Let us now look at the second reaction. Here we have the starting reagent given here and when it reacts with NaOH you can see that chlorine has been replaced by OH group. So this is again a nucleophilic substitution reaction because the nucleophile in this reaction is nothing but OH minus and it has substituted chlorine from this position giving us the final product here. So this is nothing but an example of nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions. We can recall that in general haloarenes are not reactive towards nucleophilic aromatic substitution. However, they undergo this reaction in the presence of electron withdrawing groups when they are present at ortho or para position. Now let us look at the third reaction here which is reaction of a haloarene with a haloalkane in the presence of sodium and ether to give us an alkyl arene. So this is nothing but what happens in a both fitting reaction. Let us look at the last reaction here. The last reaction is nothing but the starting reactant is a diazonium salt and this diazonium salt reacts with CO2X2 to give a final substituted product which is nothing but a haloarene. So this is an example of Sandmeyer reaction where substitution of this particular N2X takes place where halogen atom can replace this N2X to get us the corresponding haloarene. I hope you are very clear on how we have arrived this particular solution. So to summarize we can see that the first reaction is nothing but an example of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Second reaction is a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Third reaction is nothing but Wood's Wittig reaction. And the last reaction which involves diazonium salt is nothing but a Sandmeyer reaction. I hope you are very clear on how we have arrived at this particular uh, solution. Thank you.